Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start off my coverage of Queen's Wish, The Conqueror. It's by Spiderweb Software and releases on September 11th, 2019. This is from the same developers that brought you the Avernum series, the Avedon series, the Gene Force saga. I mean, there's a whole bunch of games, guys and gals. Been doing it for like 25 plus years. I don't know. It's It's been a very long period of time that the developer has been working on games and putting them out. And, well, we're going to play the latest and the greatest. So let's... I, I don't know if it's the greatest, but we'll assume. We'll assume. Since it's the latest, it has to be the greatest. We're hopping in. We're going to play it. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice styles with a Z. It's going to be fun, hopefully enjoyable, and hopefully you guys are on board for it. So let's begin a new game. And I get to create new royalty. Body. Just kind of changes the skin tone. Okay, that's that's fine. And then sex, it changes just between male and female. Okay. Face, oh, we could be angry. We could be joyfully, un slightly annoyed, smiley, old. Um, that one. That's the one. Hairstyle. Hmm. Let's go with oh, that's fine. Whatever hair color, sure. Do we do we get like a beard or anything? Oh, we do. Absolutely get a beard. Done. All right. Why not? We're just gonna we're gonna make ourselves. We're bumpy. Mix. Nope. We're just bumpy. All right. We are bumpy. Nothing, and that's fine. What is this? Nothing's changed. It's fine. All right. We have a multitude of different difficulty settings here for people who are new to fantasy role-playing games or just want to easily experience the storyline. Your foes will be weaker and have fewer special abilities. And for normal, for people who don't want a huge challenge but don't mind the game pushing back, sometimes Queen's Wish will start out quite easy but become a challenge as you get close to the end. It's a nice moderate difficulty. That's probably what I'm going to go with. Then we have Veteran, a harder difficulty setting for someone who experienced with playing role-playing games. For foes, or not for, but your foes will do more damage and be a lot harder to kill. Your spells and abilities can damage your own characters, and that's probably the difficulty I should play on. But we're going to go with normal. I'm going to ease myself into this. It's fine. And then Torment, the ultimate challenge. For the Warriors of Haven, you will need to use every trick and fully utilize every ability to defeat the nasty enemies arrayed around you or against you. Your foes have more abilities and health and do more damage. Your spells and abilities can damage your own characters. And you will get dysentery if you eat the wrong type of food. The Empire of Haven rules a full eighth of the known world. Queen Sharon the Third rules Haven absolutely. Her oldest son will become king someday. Her oldest daughter is Sharon's sage and most trusted advisor. Queen Sharon the Third. Your mother. Excuse me? I'm fine. Queen Sharon the Third buys the loyalty of all the small nations she can reach. If they refuse her, Haven is wealthy enough to pay armies to make them her vassals. None of this, however, concerns you. Or does it? You have lived a life of comfort, hiding from the responsibilities that ever threaten to crush you. Sounds like me. I can get behind that. You've had a peaceful life of decadence. Until today, that is. Until today. Well, that just sounds fantastic. Let's let's uh let's see what's changed on this day. All right, and here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Queen's Wish. You have a long day ahead of you. First, you need to learn how to move around. Select a spot on the ground to walk there. Okay, I will level this complaint that I've had with all of the series that have been put out by Spiderweb Software. We're going to we're going to spit it out there. We're going to move on because I don't like to be negative and the games look like they're going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to enjoy them. I've been looking forward to playing this for quite a while. But my one big complaint that is the one thing that I have a hard time getting past 
And yes, I've resized this down to a different size and everything else. This is essentially as big or as close to the action that I can get unless there's something that I'm totally missing and I don't know about. I want to be able to have a zoom feature. It doesn't have to be a massive zoom feature. Maybe 50% closer back to this point. I'd be okay with it. That's the only thing that I don't particularly like. So just bear that in mind. Now then, let's uh, click to walk. I guess we're going to walk here. Ta-da! I have walked. Okay. I can walk there now? Okay. It's Princess Adelia. Your oldest sister, Princess Delia, stands by the door watching you. She has on her best reassuring expression. Good morning, young prince. I'm sorry for disturbing you, but it's almost noon. Where is my butler? What's going on? Is something wrong? Delia, get out of my bedroom. Turn over and go back to sleep. Where is my butler? I'm afraid Stonehouse is occupied. I think you will meet him soon enough. What's going on? Is, is there something wrong? My mother wishes to see you immediately. Get dressed. Go to the throne room now. Fine. What is going on? I have no idea. She lies. Oh, good. She's lying to me. No lying in bed all day for you, I'm afraid. Hurry. Out into the hall. On your way. She insists. Oh, no. What does mother want? I would not presume to speak for our queen. I advise. I don't order. Get going. Yet you're ordering me, the future king. Okay, fine, fine. I'll get there when I get there. Now nah, I'm going. Princess Delia steps to the side to watch you pass. She starts to say something, but then stops. She looks sad. What is going on today? Well, I suppose we'll find out. All right, onward we go. To open a door or a box, select it. Select objects to use them and select chests and containers to see what's inside. Now select the door in the west wall to open it. North, south, east, and west. So west wall. I like I knew that. I'm just for your benefit, right, guys and gals? As you stumble out of your bedroom, the royal insignia of Haven slowly fades into being on the chest of your jerkin. Okay. This happens no matter what you wear, always, even when you don't want it to. It's a fairly simple bit of magic, worked on you and your siblings by your mother. She insists that you bear the crest of Haven everywhere you go. Something about the mystique of the royal house. Okay. So apparently I can move around with the arrow keys, which is cool and interesting, but I'm not going to do that. You try to open the door only to find that it's locked. This makes no sense. You are a prince of Haven. No chambers are ever locked to you except those of Queen Sharon herself. Well, apparently, I need to head north. Um, can I move the camera that way? Okay. All right. Sharon's Palace. This is the Dueling Hall. For centuries, when a dispute could not be settled peacefully, lords and ladies of Haven came here to resolve arguments in the most final way. A man is waiting for you. You are shocked to see your older brother, Prince Sutter. I have an older brother? Aw. He is next in line to the throne. I thought I was. Boo. And he's almost never in Sharon's palace anymore. He just has simply too much to do. All right. Talk to me, brother. The throne, the throne room is just ahead. On the left. You groggily enter the dueling hall, hoping to get this ordeal quickly over with. Someone moves to stand in your way. It is your older brother, Prince Sutter. Back from some war or other urgent business of Haven's Empire. He walks up, gives you his standard hearty grin, and says, Greetings, Prince. Welcome home, Sutter. Hello, Sutter. Back uh, from some marvelous bit of heroism. Well, someone has to help run Haven's Empire, Bumpy. Many lives outside these luxurious walls depend on us. But that doesn't mean I can't take the occasional break for family. That is why I rushed home when Mother told me of the glorious event. Um, the glorious event... He ignores the question. That aggravating grin is still on his face. He nods toward the box by the north wall. A demonstration, I suppose. All must take part. Your sword is in the box. Get it and ready it. That sword? Uh, I'd rather not. Fine, I'll play along. Sutter gives you the royal nod. Okay. <laughs> and one he gives as a rare... Sorry, the one he gives as a rare reward to underlings who perform well. You don't care. Just get the sword ready, brother. The sooner you do, the sooner this can all be over with. 
Okay, select the box. You can see the items your character has. Equip use items by pressing the inventory button. To get the items out of the box, select the box. Select the box by the north to get your sword. All right, get my sword. Okay, to get the get and equip the sword, select it. Select your character, move or equip it, then select it. Then select to where you want it to go. In the inventory window, select the sword and then select the equip area to use the sword. All right, whatever. So click here and then click here. There it is. Sutter sees that the sword is ready. He laughs. Well, Bumpy, let us see how useful your expensive education was. He claps his hands. There's a puff of smoke in the center of the dueling hall. A moment later, a giant, horrible spider has appeared. As Sutter laughs heartily, the thing lunges towards you. Well, that doesn't seem good. Uh, see, what happened was... To attack a foe, select the space it's standing in. To use an ability, push this button. You are in combat. You and your foes will take turns. Each turn, you get several action points. Moving and using abilities or items drains these. When you run out, your turn ends. To attack a foe, select the space it is standing in. To try out one of your cool abilities, use the Use Ability button. Alright, so we're in combat. Fine. And attack. Oh, we just chopped it in half. Cool. And then we can press that button down there to leave combat mode. All right, you are victorious. Exit combat mode. Press the end combat button on the lower left. After this battle, you can bandage your wounds. If in the future you need to heal your wounds or restore your energy, you will need to use an inn or return to one of Haven's forts. Okay. Well, I will end combat. I could have pressed F as well, apparently. Um, I'm going to take a second here guys hold on okay i was i was seeing if there was any background music i feel like there should be but i i can't seem to find it so yeah it is what it is all right um i i guess i'm gonna do i talk to him again sutter nudges the dead spider with his toe as you bandage your wounds he says not bad prince your education left you with some practical skills i see are you mad that thing tried to kill me a bit crude for one of your pranks sutter yeah that one Sutter laughs, but the look on your face, priceless. My position as heir to the throne gives me so few amusements. Don't begrudge me one last little prank before you see mother. But enough delays, it is time. Time? You hear a click from the west door, the door to the throne room. Mother awaits. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going west. Sharon's Palace. You enter the throne room to find the court is fully in session. Your mother, Queen Sharon, sits ramrod straight on her customary stool. Guards surround her. They look at you with their customary disdain. The Queen waves you forward. Prince Bumpy, please. It is time for us to speak. All right. Select a character to talk to it. Queen Sharon is waiting for you to talk to her. To begin conversation with a character, select it. Yeah, whatever you say. You come before Queen Sharon, total monarch of the Empire of Haven and all of the lands it owns, savior of your people, scourge of your foes, and your mother. As you come close, she gives you a tiny nod, prince or not. Custom demands that you kneel now. All right, I'll play the I'll play the dutiful son. Uh, greetings, Queen Sharon. Your unusual politeness and formality catches her by surprise. She smiles very faintly. Whatever she has in mind, you have not swayed her. My beloved prince, I have called you forward in an unusually abrupt way. I am sure you are wondering why. Sorry, I am a little off balance. The spider just tried to eat me. Don't you usually do your business with my brother and sister? Let's get this over with then. I'm eager to learn. Sorry, but a spider tried to eat me. A tiny smile. Only one who has known her as long as you have would detect it. Ah, Sutter and his pranks. Still, we had to make sure you are fully awake. Uh-huh. Well, I'm eager to learn. Teach me. So you have said in the past, you have had much schooling, many chances. It never worked out. Now I will force you to learn. I have a job for you. Wait, what? A job? Me? Why? I'm a prince. We have done you a disservice. I see now that you will only work as hard, be as strong as you are forced to. You are, in other words, a normal person. This is no crime. Haven has bits of unfinished business waiting for us to have time and resources to tend to them. 
That time is now. Um, unfinished business? We had a valuable colony on the continent of, whoa, Sacramentum? Over the sea to the west, this colony was ruined in a great calamity. Strange forces destroyed our crops. Our vassal states rejected us. Only a few of our people remain there, hungry and besieged. I, I don't really recognize the name. Uh, Sacramentum. The three lost vassals there? A lost colony. One you lost, if I recall. The three lost vassals there. I'm going to go with Sacramentum. Yes, and though most wisely fear to say it, Although most wisely fear to say it, they are lost on my watch. I will see now that my errors are corrected and our vassal states resume their duties to us. Well, what exactly does this have to do with me? In the garden to the west, you will find an enchanted portal. It will carry you to Sacramentum. There, you will take command of what is left of our colony. You will rebuild our forts, raise our forces, and reclaim land that has been lost. Wait, you want me to take over a whole continent? Me? I don't know anything about Sacramentum. If the people of Sacramentum don't want us to serve them, why should I force them? Why are you doing this to me? Wait, you want me to take over a, an entire continent? Of course, you are a Prince of Haven. That is the job you were born to do. It's what you do to earn the wealth that you were born into. You will have all the resources you need. You must provide the orders... And the will. Well, I don't really know anything about Sacramentum. That is all right. Haven still has loyal servants there. They will greet you and teach you all you need to know. I know the prospect is painful, but you might also be helped by reading a book or two. Ah, oh, thanks. Ah, uh, well, why should I force them if they don't want us to serve them? Because you are a Prince of Haven. Your responsibility is to the people of Haven to provide safety and security. That is the sacred task of our family. The three sacred, sorry, the three lands of Sacramentum signed treaties with us. They promised us things and they didn't deliver. We cannot allow this. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, my child, you are getting old and time runs shorter than you know. Your life, your true life must begin. This is the only solution. The portal awaits you. Look, I refuse. I'm going back to bed. It is about time that you trusted me. I accept your quest, and I will reclaim our lost possessions. I don't know if I can do this. You know what? I'll accept it. Your mother looks you in the eye. You can't tell what she sees. What are you thinking, Bumpy? Truly. Ah, oh, well. It doesn't matter. I always thought I saw greatness in you. Let us see if I was right. You hear a click from the door to the west. It is now unlocked. The portal is waiting. Oh, my child. I wish the best for you. Good fortune. Okay. Well, I feel like maybe I haven't been prepared for this, but you know what? I'm going to do my best. Press the gear button to save or load, save and load games, change settings, and quit. Now that you've made some progress, you might want to save the game. Press the gear button or press Control S to reach the saved game window. Queen's Wish automatically saves sometimes, but it's wise to make your own saved games occasionally. You can also press F3 to make a quick save snapshot of your game, and F4 later to reload it. Okay, I'll do that. There we go, quick save done. Alright, please be careful. Uh, you stumble out into the West Hall dazed, nothing seems real. You wonder if this is all some prank. Then you see your sister waiting for you just ahead, you see the look on her face. This is entirely real. Huh. Please be careful. Delia is waiting for you in the hall to the portal. As usual, she's infuriatingly concerned about your well-being. Bumpy, how are you? Are you alright? I'm better than alright. I have power now! Can you get me out of this? Uh, this is madness. Uh, you know what? I'm better. Yeah, I have power now. You know what? You are a Prince of Haven. You always had great power. Now you are being forced to use it. You will return to Sacramentum to our control, or you will return Sacramentum to our control. I'm sure of it. Uh, well, what if someone just kills me? Our mother is not so careless. You have had powerful protective enchantments placed on you, one after another, starting from birth. You'll find you are powerful and, well, <laughs> very hard to kill. 
This is a small advantage, but I think you will need it. When exactly can I come home? I, I, I don't know. I know there is a portal in Sacramento. You can use it to speak with us, get information and advice. I believe you will be able to use it to get home eventually. You may need to find help to recharge it. Until then, you will have to deal with Sacramento. Alright, well, I will need your advice. When you find the portal, you can talk to us, all three of us. We want you to succeed. We love you, I promise. With one hand, she wipes her eyes. With the other, she points to the west. Go. All right, always to the west, I guess. All right, well, lovely little garden here. Let's head on up here. You spent much of your childhood playing in this garden. The stone portal to the north was always closed. You hid behind it a thousand times. It was to be used for emergencies or missions of great importance. This is the very first time you have seen it open for you. Your brother stands by it. It's raw energy making his hair stand up. Uh-huh. I feel like my brother's not exactly the nicest person, but we'll see. Sutter waits by the portal with his stupid grin. You give him a good look. No, he's not faking it. The queen's heir is truly enjoying this. Oh, cheer up, Bumpy. This is going to be glorious. You'll see. Adventures. Exploration. The thrill of command. All with the full power and support of Haven behind you. Well, who will tend to me while I am there? We threw your butler through the portal ahead of you. Stonehouse wasn't happy, but it is his job. You know, I can just refuse, you know. Nope, I'll throw you through the portal if I have to. We've kept you a child too long. It's time. Before you go, I do have some advice. Advice for how to get out of this? You can choke on your advice. Fine, go ahead. Well, I don't know exactly where you're going to arrive. Find our remaining fort as soon as you can. Take command. You are their ruler. Always act like it. How can I rebuild a fort? Queen Sharon has already sent ships to Sacramento. There are supplies, soldiers, everything you need. You will, however, have to find those ships and give them a safe place to land. When you have forces, you will find the three nations of Sacramento and remind them of their debt to us. They will trade with and support us again. They swore to support Haven, and then they cheated us. We will take what they promised. Why can't we just leave them alone? How do I deal with the nations of Sacramento? How many forts do we have there? And I could use more training and equipment and time. How many forts do we have? At our peak, we had seven. Now we have but one. The portal will take you there. Rebuild our forts and fill them with shops and warriors. Show Sacramento that Haven is fearsome as a foe and valuable as a trade partner. Okay, well, why, can't, why can't we just leave them alone? Because the people we rule expected of us. The people of Haven want wealth and safety. They don't care how we give it to them. They just want it. If our family doesn't give them what they want... It will go very hard on us, or for us. Well, how do I deal with the nations of Sacramento? Force them to talk to you. Find out what they want. If you can buy or win their support, do so. Otherwise, you will have to get them to give us what they owe us with force. It's not hard once you get used to it. I do it every day. First, talk to them. Well, I could use some more training and equipment and time. No, enough talk. You have a sword and a good night's sleep. There is no better way to begin a great adventure. He grabs your shoulder. My brother, I believe in you. When I am king, I will look forward to your support. And I will pay you well for it. Off you go. Alright, I guess we're going through the portal. Okay, here we are. Can I can't open the... You stumble through this dusty room trying to clear your head. Magical teleportation is infamous for causing dizziness and splitting headaches. You regain your senses and look around. You are in a fort. The walls are rough wood. This is a prison. Posts with chains line the walls, waiting for prisoners awaiting judgment. It is late at night and mostly quiet. Well, I was hoping that we could maybe loot this thing, but it doesn't look like it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to break it off right here. We just kind of basically got a lot of the backstory down, figured out exactly what we're going to be doing. We got to chop a spider in half, which is pretty neat. It is a tactical turn-based strategy game, definitely an RPG at the same time. 
where we will well, hopefully learn a lot of stuff. We'll get a few more troops on our side, and we'll go out and we'll start doing some of the, the battles and the murder and the fighting and the killing. The game is once again called Queen's Wish, The Conqueror. It releases on September 11th, 2019. If you guys want to get more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video and various links and things of that nature, just like it always is. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this and literally thousands of other videos. And until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.